Moshi Moshi Mami Gamers, and welcome back to Genshi Impact, the nation of Sabah's Bacon. An all new season is about to begin. New adventures, new encounters, and a vase world that keeps on feeling like a Nendamandi school. Standing silently in the midst of the strange land, the stadium of the sea sky flies away the level of heroes. Today, we are going to Nutland! Now, we can pick your free 5 star character. For once, they finally add this feature. And you know what I'm picking? You want to know I'm picking? I'm picking Tagnari. Because my Sino is single! Hi there, I'm Tainari, forest watcher of the Avidia Forest. Huh? My duty is to preserve both the rainforest's ecosystem and the safety of its visitors. If this is your first time here, <laughs> I suggest you first peruse the Avidia Forest Survival Guide, paying particular attention to the chapter distinguishing between edible and poisonous mushrooms. Well, oh wow, they actually... I'm speechless. So anyway, we are gonna do this new character. Oh wow, the style is different. Okay. So I just. Let's ride. Oh what? Oh she does this. She rides, and and do this. Damn, you made them wet. This is fun. So I just. Oh my god, the sound looks different. You notice that, people? Get out of my way, bitch. So, next up, I'm gonna fight these fools. And boom! Hey, look at you. Make you all wet. I mean, destroy fire. Going fishing, are we? I don't think so. I'm destroying your friends. Get out of here, bitch. A hundred wish ready. I'm gonna pull for this girl. Because we're in a pyro region, right? And that is purple. I'm all game for free, so what's the point? That's still purple. Nah. -uh. Uh, okay, C1. Popo again. It's the gay boy. Popo again. Hey, Bennett. Popo again. Walkstar girl. Popo again. That's still a no. Okay. Oh, hey, Golden. Thank you for joining me, traveler. <laughs> I'm Moolani, a guide from the people of the springs. If you need anything, just raise your hand and let me know. Hey. Now, please stow your weapon, secure your belongings, keep a firm hold on Paimon, and most importantly, let go of your troubles. I prepared a sharky surfboard for you, so hop on and try not to fall. Alrighty, let the journey begin! Yeah, cool, love that for that. Welcome to the team, Malani. What a lineup. We'll be unstoppable. Uh, you're alone. For now. Moving on, I'm coming down. <laughs> Father, you're crazy. You're going down all the way down. I should fly. If she dies, that is not my fault. Okay, we're good. Uh where do we stop exactly? Oh, there we go. Wow, time flies. Just like that, it's time for us to embark on the next phase of our journey. We need to head to Natland next. Never I called it. A nation of dragons, but that description doesn't give us much to go off of. We haven't met anyone from nothing either. Exactly! Even when Inazuma was completely closed off, we still managed to run into people from there and other nations. Huh. Could it be that there are no humans in Natland? Yes! Yes! That look of surprise and excitement is perfect! Hold it right there. Now look at the camera and big smiles on three. Ready? Okay, just make sure you get Paimon's good side. Wait, hang on a minute! What's with the photo shoot, Charlotte? Well, I heard you two were about to leave for the next part of your journey. After everything you did for Fontaine, the Steambird simply had to follow up on a scoop like that. Oh, I have a feeling we're going to be short on material once you're gone. Oh, so you knew we were leaving! We don't need a big send-off, that's not really our thing. <laughs> That's definitely not your style, but we got to thinking. And, well, a little change never hurt anyone, right? Uh, we? <sighs> All those obstacles we overcame side by side. Oh, feels like it was just yesterday. Don't be a stranger now, partner. If you encounter any troubles along your journey, you need only let us know, no matter the distance between us. Partings are inevitable, of course. Is everyone just walking it out? This makes the heart grow fonder, right? One thing will never change, though. We'll always have the memories we made together during this time. Oh, you're all here! <laughs> um, let me know the next time the festival was a well-to-well. thinking about taking time off. 
Any excuse for a party, huh? But yes, you can count on us. <laughs> We wouldn't let you miss out on all the fun. Well, in light of your impending departure, shall we take a photo together? Ooh, us hugging? Great idea. We even have a professional photographer with us. Charlotte, would you do us the honor? Leave it to me. Now just give me a moment to set the camera up. Oh, I'm gonna miss these guys. We're going to Natlin. Oh, by the way, you're overthinking the whole Natlan issue, Paimon. Natlan has human inhabitants and its own unique culture, just like Fontaine. It's just that, because of their local customs, the native people choose not to leave. They're not unwelcoming to outsiders, though. People travel there for business and leisure alike, and usually return with nothing but good things to say. Many members of the Spina have visited in the past, too. Well, that's a relief. Hopefully we don't get swept up in any major drama this time. Don't ask me to spoon, bitch. Well, given your experience and skill in that regard, I have no doubt you'll be able to overcome anything that comes your way. Still, I hope you can avoid danger this time around. An uneventful trip might be a nice change of pace. All right, I'm ready. Shall we? Oh, uh, can we all hug it out? Can we all hug? Do the photo. Is food being held like that? Oh, never mind. Well then, traveler. Bomb boy Hodge. Oh. Am I gonna miss this? Yeah, I'm gonna miss them. You know, let's talk to them one more before I go. Stop with Charlotte. One picture to publish and one to keep for myself. Perfect. Oh, that's it. It's like the same. I'll talk to Phil last because I'm uh, Ocalino Navia. There's a place in Natland that produces precious stones. Next time there's a lull in my work, I gotta go pay it a visit. Sure. Alright, now we'll talk to Colin. Safe travels, traveler. You're welcome back anytime. I told you if both you of let them? us know in advance, we could arrange even more people to greet you when you return. That would be quite the lively affair. Was that saying how Boobas? Probably was. Like, uh-huh, I'm shorter, you can't help it. Um, anyways. Wait, did I even talk to Fuina? Safe travels, traveler. Okay, there you go. You're welcome back anytime. If you let us know in advance, we could arrange- That would be- Uh, never mind, she always said this. I took it back, I take it back. Lady Fuina, here's the question. How long is this gonna take me to get to this location? This will take a while, guys, so see you in a bit. Actually, now I think about it, since I'm going to Natland, I got another build. So I got a new Valette. Um, I think I need a Lecher on my team, so either Eeny, Meeny, Miny, I want Woman. Let's have Oshino in here as well. Actually, no, let's have Lenny, because I don't have no bow on my team. At the same time, it's hard to pick who to be for now on the team, but I decided, who tagged on you? There's my team, one guy and three women. Because why not? I just realized I have no clean boy. This needs to come. Anyways, I'm gonna continue. So this is my team for now, for Natlin. Until I can upgrade my Natlin team. No, actually, now that I think about it, I think Hotel should be in my main team for now. As the leader, because this is Pyro. Okay, through the canyons. This is where we are, guys. Um, so, what is going... Ooh. You guys see that? Looks like we're about getting to Natlin. Are we in Natlin? Uh, what is that? I'm just what is that? Oh, uh, I was about to say, it buns us. Okay, we're good. We're so far away. You know, it's gonna take a little to walk over there. I'm wasting my stamina. But at the same time, I am saving it. Like, just in case we walk into some combats with some enemies. Hey, yo, what? It is happening. Do we just... Is this part of? Oh, I'm looking back quick. This is not part of the main quest. Oh, there's only a waypoint there. <laughs> huh? What do you mean I can't do that? Lost in the woods first? Are you joking? No, fine, I'll do it. Uh, why am I doing this? <laughs> oh yeah. Also, if you guys didn't know, they you now one of those nine, which I'm not gonna do yet. I'm just gonna wait until I have my teams are strong enough and my hotel is dying. Please them. Make them wet. Come on, come on. Twice is gonna do with this first? Oh wait, this is not this is like nothing those wait, those are nothing animals. 
I think this is probably not going to be Zoe Quest. I don't even know. Go, go on you. Move them up. This is giving me real vibes. If you've seen that movie from last decade. Best movie in my, my childhood life. Go, Liza! Uh, you know what? I thought I should use Moss that team. Now I think about it. I mean, I could have. What is going on? Is this part of some side quest? It looks like a side quest. Hey, hey, big are you okay? Can you stand? Oh, shit. It looks really weird. Oh, seriously, those flying ghosty dogs are going up with no good. In fact, it makes this all these floaty. You're very floaty as floaties go. Pausing like those goddamn guys. Anyways, forget that for now. Let's see if we can get this guy's thing up to eat. And then, we'll let's move well. It'll be feeling better soon. Power sure of it. It's been hot up for far too long. No. <coughs> oh no, I'm a so much pain, Ethan. Uh, you keep your style, big guy. You did good. <laughs> is, is someone else that on your mind? <gasps> is there something else you'd like to tell me? Stretch out your hand, chose of dragons, reach out to me. Join straight and then witness all the dust live with it all. What's going on, Ether? This is no time to zone out. It's nothing, just a bit of days. Is that your desire, oi? We shall do the dying beast. Dying beast! Oh, tea. What are you doing? Yay! Ether! You! What the hell did I become? Hold up! This, this cannot be part of the main quest. This is kind of weird. I know we know the. I'll look around as the beast. Uh, then. Hold on. Let me check the. Let me check out the. No, no. I'm trying to check out the the crest. What is going on? This is not part of the quest, though. This is kind of awkward. Um, that's nothing. Wait, what is going on? What do I do exactly? I have to enter Natlin, so that's what happened? Huh. That's kind of weird. So, am I just gonna... What do I do with... Oh. I just fucked it. I thrust it in like I'm fucking someone. Okay. Do I just touch it? Ooh, interesting. Interesting! Did I just... Did I just give birth to that child? Not like that, people chill. Oh, are you right there, little guy? Why? What the fuck is wrong? You don't look so good. Is this your tail? Did you enter the one you fell from the barrier? Why? It's only, is it, if only we could buy it, bend it. Hehe, <laughs> it's probably time to shine. You back out a source for every moment emergency. It still takes all day to find anything. Let us use a sky from Pyman Emergency Backpack instead. I have no clue where the backpacks of yours is even supposed to be. Someone's secret, someone's safe, of course! Anyways, do you want to use the sky for not? We'll use it. Thank you kindly, Paiwan. Uh, Alright, little bitch, don't move! I've been guy! Uh, yeah, what the fuck you said to me? Is he gonna tell? Hey, other guy! Sure as well be a bear either! Why? This should do the trick. Oh, I might feel better now! Uh, eh, that's better now! That's relief! Still, how do you end up in the barrier and those web parts? Do you don't know either? Huh? No, we don't really get what you're saying, but now that you're just you, you can go home. Uh, wait, do you know where the fuck your home is? What about Rodriguez then? Oh, wait, that big guy from earlier. What do you do either? We can't just leave you here by ourselves, right? Uh, it might be better if you stay with us for a while. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe we'll find a little guy fairy when we've reached that thing, but what if we see anything like it? Uh, Chosen of Dragons, could that mean. Ah, oh, you mean you heard something like that? Another part of this about it, another destination of dragons, so does it mean that. Wait, this call little guy with the sour sign around here, right? <laughs> Can't think of a part of this so much of a whisper, you know. Too late, one tail and all. Huh? You have to have a travel with us. But we should ask our friend here if that's what he wants to do first. Choo choo! Hey there, little guy! Would you like to travel with us? <laughs> hey, let's talk about Green then! Anyways, Paimon's Paimon, and he's Ether! <laughs> oh yeah, we the name too! Let's think of why! Such a yellow and brown, let's call you Hash Brown! <laughs> <laughs> you call me food now? 
I suspect, I suspect that will all go down good on good hunt. You people were looking at them, so Will it take to give you a name for them? Well, not that pumpkin flush of name says though. Hmm. All the names I come up with so far has been perfectly noble. I'll have you know. Hmm. So do I just get to name it? So much to the guy. <gasps> I could name him something? Just like I did with Skyle Mooch. Hmm. Can I call you this? Denied. Oh, oh, oh wait. All oh, together. How about this? <laughs> what the fuck? I can call him little bitch. <laughs> oh my god, I call him little bitch. <laughs> I mean, yeah, let's do it. Then let's call this little fella little bitch, shall we? Do you actually allow this? <laughs> let's go with that. <laughs> oh god. Little bitch. This is such a name for now, little guy. Little bitch. Whoa. <laughs> oh shit. Is Gideon be okay with this? Looks like a little fella loves this name. Well, the way you look, we saw this bitch that surrounds you while you're not lit. Ah, and maybe we'll get some clues into why Ether was able to suddenly enter the summon body. Oh yeah, hey, are you okay? By the way, Ether, you saw it turn into that big ass shotgun back there. Are you feeling uncomfortable anyway? Oh, just a little sorry, sick. What was I supposed to fucking mean? This isn't the time for jokes. Still, Ether, power never heard of your friend who could turn into a sound. That's kind of weird. Seriously, what I just got here, and it feels so much over it happened. Anyways, how do we get out of here? <laughs> so, do I just own two pets now? Other than Paimon? Ooh, I wanna keep it! Hmm, you know what the exit is? If we're done with this, I wanna do the main quest. Ways of follow animal. No, let's switch teams real quick. Oh shit, look, guys, in the background. It's Nathan Deep. I love it. Anyways, Wazer, follow animal. My god, you calm little bitch. Can I call a bed at that? Wazer, no! What the fuck, boy? So I just walk up here? Um. <gasps> Leave? <gasps> oh, I'm gonna miss this guy. Wait! It was just a small quest? What? Really? Wait, look at the- Oh, okay, I was confused for a second, like, what's that part? I guess it was. Oh my goodness, it kind of gave me a fight. Okay, since we're here, I'm gonna leave Bennett, because Bennett is probably secretly the Natlin Archon, even though we know he's not. Okay, anyways, we arrived. Totally! Yay, we're here! The music here is giving Pokemon kind of vibes. Yes, it is. Oh my god, this is like... So many strange mountains, and so many animals Paimon has never seen before! A llama! Uh, huh. Doesn't look like there are any cities around here, though. Where should we start? Let's try heading this way. Good idea! Finding people means we can learn information about the local Archon. And once we've met the Archon, we should have a better idea of what to expect during our journey. Archons may have a deeper connection to the respective nations. Well, Alright, Act 1. Flowers, weapons on the sun, scored sojourn, or whatever the fuck you say that. Collect some materials so I can build my new character that I pulled for you guys saw. Now, we're just gonna walk. Oh my god, look at that. Who, what, what is this? You innocent? You're, you're a chicken? What the hell? Who looks like a chicken? Oh, Christy. I became a big guy just like before. Um, I'm just gonna get out of this, please. Can, can I get out of this, please? Can I? Alright, let's kill. And Banner's like, what the hell happened? I just. Oh, wait a minute. Is that why I'm being the. Oh, I see. Let me go. Let me go. Turn into a big ass raptor. And I'm going to flop like thing. I'm a big guy. Woo! Okay. That, oh, wait. I don't have to do that. How far can I split as an animal? Uh -huh. gotta be on the right track. I was kind of worried the fact that when I see that fire thing, I thought it's gonna like cost lose HP just like Blue and Dragon Spine. But I guess we're okay. So I can't wait fire, so I'm gonna get out of this. Wait, hold up. Where is the objective now? Now I'm just walking around. Okay, I turn it off so it doesn't work. This music! Oh, okay. Start dancing. 
Okay, look at that. Okay, you know I'm getting out of this, but I don't need to do something with him. Well, unless I need to. I'm just gonna head up. So, it's just... Start from me. Oh, boy. Ooh. Damn, look at this place. Underground facility. <gasps> New character. I see it. I see her. She's down there. I'm sorry, Kachina. I know it's not right for us to go back on our word like this. <gasps> but Kampoa and I have to do well during this pilgrimage. I see back people. You can't seem to find other people to join. Oh, my like, um, I was trying to see this. Oh my God, back people! I'm about to say. <laughs> Sorry, but you still have plenty of chances. You're young, and you bear an ancient name on top of that. We're just ordinary tribal warriors with years of battle under our belt and no glory to show for it. Not to mention the physical toll of all that fighting. We're no longer in our prime. Uh, we barely had a chance last time, remember? We can't expect She's a better so result with even fewer people. Pilgrimage registration closes tonight. This is our last chance to switch teams. Well, all right. I guess it is what it is. I just wish I was stronger. I'm nothing compared to the other ancient name bearers. But never mind. Guess this is just par for the course as Uthabiti, huh? I'm sure I'll figure something out. Well, if we do well this time, there's still a spot for you at the victory feast. Yeah. Even though we're not participating in the competition together, we're still friends, aren't we? Of course. Anyway, you guys should get going before it's too late. Go form a really strong team, okay? Aww. Aww. Guess I'll have to wait until the next pilgrimage. Looks like that little girl over there was just abandoned. Wonder what happened. Oh, she looks so sad, too. Let's go check on her. She turns around. Oh my god, I know you! You are the traveler over here, but my name's Ether. But that's my real name. Oh, gosh, um, I'm fine. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Wait, I haven't seen you around the tribe before. Are you travelers? What is like Zenazo Zeal background music, by the way? Yep, we just it kind of. It just sounds kind of like Sinister Zia background music. Oh, welcome, welcome! I'm Kachina. Uta Piti Kachina. Upa Tipi! Oh, oh, I have to say that. That's something we call an ancient name. It's a tradition we have here in Natlin. Although it's kind of complicated to explain. You can think of it like a title for now. If you're here for the pilgrimage of the return of the sacred flame, you'll find out what they mean soon enough. So, this pilgrimage. Is that what you were discussing earlier? Oh, yeah! It's a competition we hold every so often, where everyone competes to try and get the highest ranking. The competition receives tons of attention, so if you place highly, you're guaranteed instant acclaim, and you earn the right to take part in the Night Warden Wars. Basically, the winners become heroes, and that's pretty much everyone's goal around here. Sounds like a massive fighting tournament or something. Do you have to be in a team to participate? Well, due to the sheer number of participants, the pilgrimage is actually divided into two phases. Phase one is a team competition. Usually an ancient name bearer serves as the team captain and leads their team in various battles around that one with the goal of capturing sacred flame. Oh, and an ancient name bearer is just someone with one of those titles I mentioned earlier. Someone like me! Once the team competition is over, the participants from the winning teams qualify to take part in individual one-on-one -on -one matches. Sounds like some kind of Netland National Games. Yeah, the skill seems pretty huge. Wait a minute. If ancient name bearers lead the teams, that means you must be a team captain. Sure am. Although... I don't exactly have any team members anymore. <laughs> the key to winning is in the strength of the team captain. That's what everyone says. But, uh, the difference in strength between bearers can practically be night and day. So, their decision does make sense. I'd feel the same way if I were in their shoes. What's your plan now? All ancient name bearers have to take part. It's our duty. 
So if no one wants to be on my team, then I'll just go it alone. At worst, I'm looking at a few extra scrapes and scratches. I'm not great at fighting, but I always manage to get back on my feet in no time. Psst, Traveler. Based on the direction of this conversation, Paimon thinks it might be time for us to do our thing. Why tell you? Why tell with you, Paimon? Yep, yep. Time for the next phase of our journey to start for real. Hello? Um, what are you guys talking about? Can we join your team? Huh? <laughs> what is the facial expression now? They're changing here. Uh, sorry, didn't mean to freak out on you. I just. Uh, how should I put this? They were more enemy on this. Oh, I love it. I really appreciate the offer. That's so unbelievably generous of you. But only people from that one are allowed to take part in the pilgrimage. Oh, Paimon thought we could just join your team and fight our way to the top and then become heroes. It's alright. Really? I. I mean, no one's ever offered to join my team before. Really? We're all usually on good terms, but whenever pilgrimage registration rolls around, it feels like everyone starts avoiding me. They don't make eye contact or bring up the pilgrimage. It's like they're afraid I'll ask them to join my team. I probably don't even need to explain the reason. I'm too weak. It's pretty obvious there's nothing to gain from being on my team. That really doesn't matter to you? Oh, don't you worry. The Traveler's strong enough for the three of us. Gods, dragons, giant narwhals. He can give them all a run for their mora. Oh, I get it. You were able to overlook my lack of strength because you're confident in your own skills. You wanted to spot and I wanted to help. That's right. We always try to help people out there. That's what makes a true adventurer! A true adventurer? You guys are really special! You know you're strong, but you don't take yourselves too seriously! That's exactly the kind of person I want to become! You're planning on staying in that land for a little while, right? Mind if I try to learn from you while you're here? Learn from us? Yeah, you know, like a disciple or a sidekick! You don't even have to teach me anything. I'll just observe. I promise I won't be in the way. Besides, I can take you to see the sights and introduce you to Natlin in the meantime. What do you think, Traveler? Seems like she really looks up to you. <clears throat> That's fine with us. Oh, right. Didn't those people from earlier say the registration period was about to end? You don't need to focus on finding new teammates? Don't worry about it. I wouldn't be able to manage it this close to the deadline anyway. I lose all the time. I'm used to it. Everyone around me is used to it. So it's fine. No one expects anything out of me. But if I manage to learn a thing or two from you, I might just pull off a win next time. Don't set your expression too high. We're just all the way people. <laughs> Nah, we're not old. I want you to say that. Agreed. Well, come with me, you two. I'll show you where I grew up and introduce you to our tribe, the Children of Echoes. The Children of Echoes. I got for free! See? I don't need to pull for her! But she's voice I so what's the point? Kachina has become your companion. When she uses her ailment skills, she will enter Night Soul, Blessing, and Southern Trouble Stroll to fight alongside her. If you hold both the ailment skills used, or she uses while Turbo Trolling is on the field, she will wipe Turbo Trolling and gain the ability to move and fly quickly. Ooh. Actually, when you switch to Kachina while climbing, spinning, or while in melee, Kachina will immediately hop on the Turbo Trolling as it takes to the field. The ability is known as Night Soul. Transmission and can only use the air while the and and Pelon Machines are present. Only Natlin, you're serious? What? She's actually going to be in this team as well for Natlin. I can join the team? Yeah, look, what what joy um friend over here? Best menu, what the hell? Oh my god, I gotta do this first. Okay, fine, I'll do it. I gotta do some side quests doing this this Oh my god, that's what we're gonna go on. <gasps> Wait a minute, dancing! Yo hey yo! Oh, holy shit, she doing some break dance? Oh shit! Wow, that's amazing. My turn has been the Angular Dance! Woohoo! Ah! Um, anyways, um, let's talk to you for a quick. If I could to you. Wow! After that, the Junior Echoes can't dance! Why can never thought the human boy can form the monster on stage? The one that's missing, Little Fox, all the commission breeds to talk to this thing that sees. Hey, 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 I see you trying to look at me! Are you hungry? 
how sad Melissa and yo where I will be flying doll too. Shop says it too. Yeah, I'm sure you have the one to take out the big of the event uh, event god and the only star among coffee or just So how about it? Wanna join me, the Dopsy Diaster and grasping the lens and greatest and trending all testing thoughts? Wow, well, here comes another puzzle with the odd nickname. You not you're not beating the well wobbler calculations. Don't even try changing the subject! This isn't about the well how fashion or the singing thing. The point of the girl was talking about. Anti guard thought is the key lit nothing's artistic uniqueness. Ah, oh, there you go, very perceptive. As you can see, the very dances, the full music, the vibe life, and all the steep pleasures of the better guard. Fashion's trendy novelly. To us, these are the summits of anti guard. As for me, the Dopey Dazzler, where's up the good for you I'm trying to encourage a good understanding of such following thinking. First Nathan, then the world. That's why all it's well because it's about the work of the the same value may be product, productive. Even on was up in the large scale or a greater work. It seems a bit abstract. The most is acceptable then. See the large work of graffiti in the stage backdrop? It was an also about in drawing that. If the backdrop was over the dozen painting, I found oil painting from Fountain or a mirror from Samuel. Do you think it will still fit it? Ah, oh, okay, that's pretty straightforward. Probably gets it now. So if the backdrop was the color of the portal is expensive, I will feel less extra Of course, I want to claim that landscape. Oil or oil wall paintings are bad, but when you need a little bit of vape for attention and bunny so there's nothing quite like graffiti. If you ask me, every tribe here in Latin has an piece of stride even higher, desires to be so straight. That's why every god is in our primary style. You know, you call yourself Dory, but you're pretty knowledgeable, aren't you? Are you going to take us on this, as a student? Whoa, whoa, and all hell of the song and dance, are we? Don't worry, I'm not too fussed about the master student stuff, and I don't really, I don't care about fortune or fame either. What we do here is share our experiences in the hopes that they will bloom and bear food everywhere. As long as you can gaze into the adventure guides and create the inspiration work of graffiti required, I'll be satisfied. In fact, I'll even come up with much more material as it took to help you go into a graffiti master. And then you can help me with sketches. B sketches? You can also help me promote the art elsewhere and attract more talent to an alliance. After all, our goal is to create all the pillar events card work on every mountain. Currently though, we number as only ten people and that's just not gonna happen. My back and waist, uh, if I carry and die the pain all day, my bones will be left cooked and my shoulders and thighs are messed too, no doubt. Paimon was going to say there seems to be something fishy up all of this, but since you're being all honest, I guess they can be the door of you. And you know, if this learning coffee art doesn't sound too bad, we could probably draw something to mark our chosen scarf monsters and baddie. Ah, yes, that's the spirit. In any case, let's get to it. Now, our work isn't straight about painting skills, it's about all the mindset. Let's begin. Devil Michel Jigoye. The measures? You mean the principles? Close enough. In short, we need to find the inspiration to break our conscious and expression ourselves freely. Once you have done this, you can even set up upon city even amidst its more challenges and discover the limit of human movements, movements in the mindset of close quarter combat just as I do. That way, you discover and search the line book and lead your graffiti. As the color says, you make use of commission found in the nature world. You will be surprised how many surprises there in store. That sounds familiar, but this thing a bit off. A sudden lines of motion while racing and fighting. Those methods are still in your ethics. What are you all kind of different? Yes, that's not enough for you. Anyway, take the guy back in this camera and go for it throughout Natalie. Might as well enjoy the unique side of cells while you're learning. Eh? And once you're back, I'll use all you see and heard your calm, 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 range guard for the you can best understand. So, can I now continue my main quest? Oh my god, what is. This is some Zenazon Zero level I'm looking at. Ooh, that's, that's Kimichi. Did I say anything? Oh wow, look at this style! Oh shit, I like this! I just had to go back down this way just to follow this. That's kind of hilarious. Uh, hey, hey whoa, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming, chill! Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, let's go. Don't go up there. Okay. Okay, are we gonna go? Are we going to the bridge again? Go I was there earlier in a side quest. Like, this is why I break dance. You wanna see me? I'm gonna break dance. Many of our tribes people love music and dance. They have an amazing sense of rhythm. 
Uh huh. Uh huh. Outlanders have come here just to study our culture and exchange views. Are you joking, of Bennett? Wanted me to learn dance. That's a child. I wanted to become a warrior instead. I'm more keen about people. Just chill. We're expecting an adult to do this. A dark character? Nah, that sounds kinda wrong. Oh wait, this is keep following you. <gasps> Another one? Is that Veil in the pointing thing? People dancing left and right. <gasps> Chest! Hey, it's Ayo! Come on, over here! He's like Oh, they're so cute! Allow me to introduce you! This is Ayo, my Saurian companion! And also an important member of my family! Family? <laughs> together, but he also has a Saurian family and a place to stay of his own. Sometimes he even brings his entire family over to eat at our house. The children of Echoes have the closest ties to the Tepetli source. What is the Echoes? I'm thinking friendly like humans. within waves. That's how our relationship became what it is today. All Saurians have their own personalities, but I think calling them our companions pretty much sums it up. <laughs> See? Ayo agrees with me. <sighs> Little bitch! Oh shit! <laughs> you have a soaring companion too! Oh, what a sweet little thing! I think your friend here will get along with Ayo just fine! Alright, you two go have fun! I've got some important business to handle, and then I'll be right back! No mystery! So how do okay? get that? And you better not go leading your new friend astray, or I'm telling your parents! Mm -hmm. Alright, now we'll go forward. So they're just having... Yeah, they're having fun. Okay, yeah, I'm coming. Don't think that's creepy as luck. No, the next one is a veil. I'll go get off camera. I'm coming! But it's just slow, okay? I'm just tired! This is the most cherished and most sacred item in our tribe. It symbolizes the Wyab that protects us So you gotta try to lead to your knowledge? Wyab? Is that a god of some sort? Sort of? We believe the Wyab dwell beneath the earth, while the Pyro Archon hails from above. We hold regular gatherings here, actually. Our chief recounts and interprets dreams relating to our Wyab to decipher its will. The Wyab know the past and can foresee the future. Isn't that extraordinary? Huh. Kachina, what are you doing here? Oh, look at that Alpha Hell. Chief! Oh, let me introduce you. This is the call. The chief of our tribe. That's your tribal chief? Ooh. Chief, these two just arrived in Natland. They're super accomplished adventurers, and they're letting me stick by them so we can learn a thing or two. <laughs> uh, uh, what? Uh, hello. What, is it because I'm white? Kachina is a child of our tribe. Her safety is my responsibility, so I'll just come out and say it. But I don't know how you met her, but I'm gonna need you to prove your identity. Whoa, 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 whoa! There's no need for that, Chief! They're good people! I can feel it! No, you're a child, I don't give a shit! A feeling isn't going to satisfy your parents, Kachina. It's a like a son, I get it. How about... Oh, uh, we show you our adventurer handbook! It's where all our previous travels are recorded! Hmm... The people who belong to the Adventurer's Guild are kind of a mixed bag. I prefer something more reliable. Hmm. Huh. You're the Traveler, and your Paimon is familiar. Oh, I knew it. I just went for Zap saying, <gasps> You're the main character I've been hearing about. Paimon is a guide. Jeez, these rumors are getting out of control. Well, okay, maybe this one's not that bad. It does make you seem super powerful and mysterious, Traveler. Wait. Is there something special about those names? You haven't heard? No. no. But I'm the dark chief! My tribal chief! <laughs> Learn well from him, Kachina. It's unlikely you've ever had a teacher of greater merit. Really? To earn that kind of praise from the chief? You guys must be even stronger than I thought! <laughs> Apologies for not trusting your word. Oh, don't worry about it. You were just doing 
near duty. Well, Kachina's still young, so you can never be too careful. Oh, look, the shoes are wearing. Oh, wow. Are those sneakers? As for you, Kachina, isn't registration about to close? Why haven't you headed out yet? Don't worry, Chief. I told my teammates to go ahead. I'll catch up with them in a bit. I may not be much of a fighter, but I am quick on my feet. <laughs> Kachina's trying not to worry him, huh? I see. Well, I... I hope I wasn't interrupting anything just now. If I did, just tell me where you left off, and I might be able to help with the explanations. Let me think. I told them about the Lyab, so now's the perfect time to dive into ancient names. Good thing you're here, Chief. I don't think I could explain it very well. Oh, right! That word kept popping up in our conversation earlier. So what does it mean exactly? Well, Natlan is a nation of heroes whose valiant deeds are preserved and passed down over time in the form of stories. You can think of an ancient name almost like a label for these stories. By mentioning an ancient name, we remind ourselves of the epic sagas of heroes past. For example, the most famous bear of my ancient name fought in 27 Night Warden Wars. By the time he fought in his last one, he was already over 60 years old. Even though he wasn't quite where he used to be physically speaking, he still managed to achieve top rankings during the pilgrimage. Impressive, right? So, why do people inherit ancient names? Ancient names allow us to preserve the stories of the past, but they're also much more than that. Think of an ancient name almost like an heirloom passed down from generation to generation. Do you have your stone on you, Kachina? Of course! Here, take a look. Whoa! Oh. That black stone looks so mysterious! It's like there's something shiny inside it! It looks like a feather. The Wyab decide who is deserving of inheriting an ancient name. Once a successor is selected, the name becomes theirs to bear and their deeds are then preserved within it. As time passes, ancient names come to represent the heroic deeds of more and more bearers, and their value becomes even more profound. In turn, the accomplishments preserved within it serve as an inspiration for the next generation of successors. Just like me. <laughs> I'm still not sure why our Wyab chose me of all people. You got a vision your shoulder. But if I didn't know the stories of all the past heroes, how they never stopped fighting? I probably would have given up a long time ago. So it's like a form of metal for the tooth? Then you're saying this stone doesn't have any actual power? Like it's not gonna make Paimon super strong or smart? None at all. And that is precisely how it exercises its unique value. Think of it this way. If you become a hero because the heavens granted you strength, are your triumphs earned? Or given. Oh, Paimon gets it. If people start to ask those kinds of questions, the stories suddenly become a lot less inspirational. Someone had this to say about ancient names. <clears throat> Our forebearers carved miracles into obsidian rock, yet future bearers looked upon them and saw strength. The miracles of the past become the motivations of the present. The limitations of the past become the breakthroughs of today. That's more or less the gist of it. So there's no rush, Kachina. Many people struggle to understand the Wyab's judgment after receiving an ancient name. As long as you never stop trying to improve your abilities and surpass yourself, your time will come. Thank you, Chief. I'll get it together, just you watch. Well, it's getting late. I've got to get to the Stadium of the Sacred Flame. Oh, right. I'm not sure where you're headed, but... Mind taking a detour with me? Is that where the pilgrimage is taking place? Yep. And outside of competition season, it's the place where our intertribal gatherings are held. Will the pilot icon be there? Of course. She's the most important figure in the entire event. Sounds like a plan then. Let's go! Well, if the Traveler and Paimon are with you, then I don't need to worry about your safety. Be on your way now. Alright, we're off. See you later, Chief. Yep. All right, let's keep going. Oh, we're still walking along. I got so carried away just now. I didn't consider what would happen if our destinations were different. Luckily, that's not the case. Or, well, I guess we just have to meet up after the tournament. You sure it's okay you didn't tell the chief about your team? <sighs> chief McCall's a really nice guy. If he knew the truth, he might even ask to join me. But he's not a 
as young as he used to be, and he's got some old injuries that still bother him. He's not cut out for any more attempts. He'll find out what really happened when he sees me compete. I'm sure I'll get an earful for lying, but this is for the best. You're a very considerate person. Yeah, your teammates left you high and dry and you made sure they didn't feel guilty about it. It's not their fault, really. The pilgrimage is extremely important to the people of Natland. We all grow up listening to stories about the heroes of the past and dream of becoming warriors with the strength to defend our nation, not out of a selfish desire for glory but to lend our strength to a greater cause. Anyway, don't worry about it for now. Once you witness the spectacle for yourself, maybe it'll all start to make more sense. It'll also be a great opportunity to experience our culture and history. All right, time to leave our settlement. Let's head that way. Our last stop, the Statue of the Seven, is also in that direction. Let's go. Oh, all right. We're gonna see the Pyro version of Ether. Yay. So she's just uh, up there with the stairs. Oh god, so many stairs. Okay, where's the where's the stairs? Don't be a bitch, Benny. Okay, fine, I won't be a bitch. I'll just keep going up. And up. And up! There he is. Alright. <gasps> Grass. The statue is so pretty. Is that what the Pyro Archon is like? You betcha. Beautiful. Effortlessly confident and absolutely awesome. Oh, since we're here, you might as well go get your shiny new elemental powers, Traveler. That's true. Let's touch it. Huh? You can get elemental power from the Statue of the Seven? Oh, just you watch, Kachina. What's the main character? Just touch. All right, here it is. I feel the power. Um. Uh, huh? That's not right. Is the statue asleep or something? I don't sense anything. Huh? Shouldn't you be able to shoot fireballs or summon flame pillars by now? I don't sense any elemental energy either. Strange. Must be something unique to Natland. Sorry, Kachina. We got your hopes up for nothing. No, no, it's all right. If anything, I'm even more curious now. That's Were sad. Really Maybe later on we'll get it. Powers just by touching the statue of the seven? That's something only vision bears can use. S still not too clear on how or oh, the why though. C could you show me? Only if you want to, I mean. No pressure. Sure. Take it away, traveler. Look, I'll show you. Concentrate. Electro, that's one. Hydro, that's two. All the plays. Windblade! Wow, different elemental powers wielded by a single person. I've never even heard of something like that. Let me give it a try. Um, um, no, you can't, you can't. You can't. You can't. Nope. Still just Geo. Anyway, I was right. You really are something yeah, special. Yeah, Sean is finally like, Geo, only you hold Geo. Only the make out gets more than one just ability. Just until you hear about our previous adventures. Ooh, what's that? I'm like, what the fuck? <gasps> It's a Pokemon. Oh, what the? Those animals? Is this Jurassic Park? Oh shit! This nation's beautiful. Oh, that's a Kukusaur. They fly high and fast, and they're always full of energy. That's something huge in the sky. I not already made the connection, Traveler. You don't have to imitate her. Oh, before I forget. We've got a pretty long trek ahead of us, so here, take this. They look like shiny little gems, don't they? Don't be fooled, though. <laughs> it's actually candy. My mom made them. I always bring a few when I know I'm going to be out and about for a while. A little boost of sugar can really come in handy in a pinch. Woo! Paimon loves candy. Thanks. That's very generous of you. My pleasure, my pleasure. I've got all sorts of bits 
Captain Bob's on me. I'm sure they'll come in handy at some point. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Look, we've been to. Okay, in the flow true form challenges within Children of Echo Delta, you must collect as many challenge coins in order to upset as possible within the time limit. Increase your challenge rating and obtain a better voice. When you have 20 in the. Uh, to what up, twisty, or however you say that, you can drill into the ground and expert power to move all out direction. While drilling, you can perform breath high speeds for leaps. Additionally, templates can climb solid pearl stations. Collection challenge coins on cliff, cliff faces and use high speed leaps to break hard objects and collect the challenge coins hidden within. You could sh a sabu can use a tongue to wrap around heavy objects always, like pulling itself over to them to quickly get past obstacles. When consuming particle stone, it can also believe you move in mid using this method. And as it can also aim, but a target pointing to quickly collect large numbers of challenging coins. Ooh. Collect purple oils to as well as energy, energy to subtract a fixed amount of points while obtaining collecting orange ones are once all are they as they appear will grant a fixed amount instead. As such, you need to watch your timing while in motion. Additionally, collecting orbs of technique will greatly expand the range of challenging coin collection. So make good use of the special abilities. Ooh, they have so much we gotta do with. Okay, we got this. And where do we go from here exactly? Oh, this will take a while. Oh look, so I'm just gonna press this and get going. Oh my dragon. This is some challenges while I'm doing this. Wait, this is for a side quest, right? I mean, pretty much it is, so I'm gonna get going. Where would I get hit when I fall down? Some! I should be careful with that, not gonna do it again. I press E. I'm underground. Wait! Oh, oh, I, I guess I'm good then. <laughs> that's that's kind of weird. That's, that's kind of weird if you ask me. Some materials to collect. Yeah, I'm just collecting materials. Like, if I wipe this, I get these crystals. <laughs> that's how I do my girl. Fuck her, that buff. When I get the chance one day. I'm climbing and collect these things. I've seen a long time actually. Alright. Ooh, a chest. Should I fight you for one? Yeah, sure! Let's kick some ass! Let's finish this fast! Fast is Oh my god, really? Oh, suck that one in! Hey, I'm you! Yeah, let's fuck these guys! <laughs> Dwast I'm gonna Dwast and Dwast and Dwast Oh, never mind, you're hurting me. Go, Razor! Yeah, Razor, kick some ass! Boom! Hiya! A beast! First is a beast! Well, Razor is a human being who's a whole song that people love since the beginning of Genshin Impact. Yeah, that was quick. Why not? Yeah, you're going down. You're going down, bitch. Don't die! Why is he sleeping? You're sleeping! You know what? Beast versus beast. I can't be- Oh, never mind. I just suck him in. <laughs> I just suck him in. The Anyways, I got a chest, so... Yeah, I'm good. What is that monster I'm looking at? So, uh, oh, 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 I just became. Uh, this is literally getting impacted version of Withering Waves, that's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> hey, look, it's underneath like this. Oh. Um, oh, you're about to stomp on me. So, if I attack you. Oh, I can't hurt you! Okay, good. You know, I look innocent. I wouldn't try to kill you. If you could kill for meat, maybe I would kill you. Hello, I am one of you. Hey, the the that be behind you, guys? Some. Okay, so we're still going onward and still going forward. We've come a long way. How does the break sound? Great idea. All this sightseeing is making Paimon hungry. You can say that as if if you will use your stomach to see. Oh, are you all out of candy? I've got some more if you want. I've also got bread, drinks, fried rice, roasted apples. Fried rice. Why? I just like bringing a lot of stuff with me. As my mom always says, it pays to be prepared. They only come in handy every so often. <laughs> uh, but hey, better late than never, right? Huh? Is everything okay, Traveler? Seems like you've got something on your mind. Just thinking, of, just thinking about what happened with the Statue of the Seven. Yeah, that was so weird. It has to be 
mean something, don't you think? Actually, you know what? It could be because our Archon is different from the rest. Different how? Well, I heard that other nations' Archons live a long time and belong to a class of extremely powerful beings known as gods. And that's not the case in Natland? <laughs> not at all. Every Pyral Archon in Natland was an ordinary person before taking on the role. Huh? A human serving as an Archon? Is that even possible? That's kind of like what Fuina did, that did, but... You find it hard to believe too, huh? So, that's not normal then? I guess I've just got to see how things are here in Natlin. Well, based on what we've seen, that's not usually how it works. It can't be that Stop easy for it. a human to become an Archon, right? Pretty sure the Pyro Archon's the only one who can answer that. I do know this, though. Even after becoming the Pyro Archon, the person in the position still grows old and requires rest. The statue of the Seven may look a lot like our current Archon, but that has to be a coincidence. Countless people have held that title over the years. Oh, I should also mention, the pilgrimage has actually helped select the Pyro Archon. Anyone can claim the title, you just have to prove your strength. So the contest is all about how strong you are. That's right. We believe performance in battle is the most comprehensive test for a future Archon. Plus, when someone emerges victorious, it's hard to argue with the results. Our current Archon achieved an overwhelming victory. The result was obvious from the beginning. Don't just take my word for it, though. Even the tribe elders said they've never seen an Archon with such strength before. But it's just as Chief Bacall said. Today's limits are tomorrow's breakthroughs. Our future Archons will go from strength to strength. Okay, Paimon's gonna ignore the whole human becoming an Archon thing for now. It's just, if she's really that strong, do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing for us? If we think back to what happened in Inazuma... I'll say it depends on how she feels about us. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> Our Archon's a wonderful person and very welcoming to guests. I think you'll get along great. Yeah, you're right. It's not like we're planning on causing trouble either. It'll all work out. He'll meet her soon enough. Well, all right, Paimon's just about shit. ready to... You huh? What's that? What's what? Oh, we call this a phlogiston chislip. Good things happen if you infuse it with phlogiston. Oh, you mean that? Let me give you a try. Uh, sorry to disappoint, but only people from Natlin can use that power. Uh, you got cut out, I think. I don't know what people are saying. Oh, just watch. Watch. <laughs> I'm gonna turn into something so mistaken from behind the benches. Oh no, I'm okay. I mean, a, 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 a monster who looks like a Pokemon. I just to touch these. Ignite the into. So, do I just go next to it? Hey, that works. Wait, wait, wait. You can use it too? Oh my god, I love how she hacks <laughs> something. I, oh god, I don't know what to say. It just came naturally. That was amazing. I don't even know what to say. And something is coming down from above. What the hell, style? Behind you. Something's coming. They were fine. Is something after us? Should we get ready to fight? We're fine. Fine. This here is Toto. Hi, you Toto. <laughs> it's me, Kachina. How many piss do you own? What's it called? Is, is that food I see? Could I eat that floating thing on next to you? Well, aren't we looking lively today? Did the chisel floor you over here? <laughs> Warm, isn't it? Oh! So it was just a friendly Saurian. You think it will kill us? That's right. There's quite a few of them around here. And Toto's the friendliest and gentlest of the bunch. He's always hanging around these parts. I swear he does it just to show off to any outlanders that might come this way. Don't let his size fool you, though. He's just a big softy. What the fuck you say? Uh, what does the crouching mean? That's an invitation. He's offering us a ride. Don't mind if we do. Um, Paimon's not so sure about this. It's kind of scary, don't you think? He's what? huge! What are you scared of? You can fly! Oh, good point. <laughs> you guys have fun with that then. Paimon will just float alongside. Yep, we're going up. 
Oh my god, Wolf. Can we control her? Oh my god, on the head? Are you serious? Sightseeing is even better from up here. If you ain't heals, you can the see my step off. The vantage point, the better the view. Are you in Tokyo close, Katina? Yep. When I was little, my parents and I went to the stadium of the Sacred Flame to buy a bunch of different fruits, but the car we were using to transport them flipped over on our way back. Toto wasn't even half his current size back then, but I still burst into tears when I saw him approach. I was afraid he was going to eat all the berries and sunsetias and leave none left for me. In the end, though, he didn't eat a single one. And even chased off a few other Saurians looking to snatch a few for themselves. After that, he used his big head to help get our cart right side up again. I've been bringing him fruit ever since. Oh, and I was the one that named him Toto, actually. With the sheer amount of food he can eat, he pretty much grew like a weed. Before I knew it, he was already this big. So he does what I... I'm tall as fuck. Thanks. Just up down like that. It's an easy walk from here, so I say we head the rest of the way on foot. It'd be quite the trek for Toto otherwise. That's true, especially considering his size. Well, see you later, Toto. Good boy, Ita. Okay, let's, let's keep exploring. <gasps> another, another one. Ooh, is that the boss we're gonna do it? Okay, let's just do this. Give it to I can. How many? There's like four. There's like literally four. Yeah, but it'll be okay. Yeah, it's definitely really sick. You can open power from a certain servant. Jeez! What's just wrong with this fucking statue? Maybe it's just all in these um, maintenance? Why would I say that? But it's totally glowing when you touch it. Hey, come on, Sister Seven. Are you doing your job properly? Probably I haven't got a clue. Nah, probably when we see her. But hey, we're trying to become pyro abilities. What's the problem? Like, oh, you got to prove you are the main character. I am the main character. What do we do? I don't know. Just, just fight um my people. I'm in the enemies, not the people. Oh my god, Isaac. No! I'm trying to get to this, this, this teleport thing. Fuck off, do you mind? I'm just gonna fly with the squirrel. Hey, is Sam's trying to get to me? Cause I wanna do with this first stuff. I don't wanna talk with you. I'm gonna talk with you later. Okay? Oh wow, look at this bridge I'm walking on. They made this? Oh my god, it's giving me goosebumps the way I look at it. What if Snip blows one way out like some sort of creature? It's kinda scary if I think about it. Okay. We arrived. We are here. Flying with the um, flying squirrel. I'll call it that. So pisilated. Oh, uh, what? You. It's not just Kanish and Moolani's time you're wasting, but mine too! Mine! What the heck? That's a strange looking Saurian. Or wait, isn't he even a Saurian? Take it down a notch, alright? <gasps> Another new playable character! Just because Kachina's too nice to get mad at you doesn't give you an excuse to be rude to her. Beautiful eyes, damn. And what are you gonna do about it? What the fuck? Even I'm shocked with Paimon! Alright, I've put on a time off right now. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. Aw, you didn't have to do that. Hal just doesn't have much of a filter, that's all. I don't mind. He was totally even cussing! But he got what he deserved. Let's just hope the lesson sticks this time. <gasps> hey, I got her! <laughs> Like you made some new friends. And here I was worried you ran into trouble on your way here. Hello, Paimon's Paimon! <laughs> I'm Ether, a traveler. A traveler, you say? You came at the perfect time. The pilgrimage is a sight to behold this time of year. I don't see your teammates with you, Kachina. Where are they? Oh, uh, they 
Went to join teams with a better chance at winning. So you're saying you've been ditched? Again. <sighs> that might give them an advantage during the team stage, but it all comes down to individual strength sooner or later. Yeah, well... I couldn't even promise them we would make it through the team stage. The outcome of the team stage usually depends on the ancient name bearer, after all. Hey, now. There's not a single person here that can promise their team victory. You're putting too much pressure on yourself. Besides, you're not lacking in strength at all. You just need a bit more confidence. You were only three victories short of reaching the Night Warden Wars last time. Wait, so if the pilgrimage is like a national sporting competition, then what are the Night Warden Wars? The former is a battle of skill. The latter is a real war. A war against our eternal enemy, the Abyss. The Abyss? So they're here too. Well, wait a second. You're saying the prize for winning the pilgrimage is the chance to go to war? That's not too far off. That's why it's called the Night Warden Wars. The pilgrimage chooses the strongest warriors among the tribes, and those warriors fight to repel the abyss in defense of our homeland. Their names and deeds are then recorded in epic tales passed down over time. That is the highest honor you can achieve in Natland. Is it dangerous though? Yes, but that's the nature of war. Danger comes with the territory. Okay, people are saying, this is supposed to be like the boy of Natlin. It is. Just be patient. Resisting the abyss is our duty. But we're not alone in this fight. We also have the blessing of our Archon, which allows for our safe return. It's something we call the Ode of Resurrection. Which does exactly what it sounds like, basically. Resurrect people, you mean? Yep. So it's not so scary, really. Archon's blessing gives us the courage to keep moving forward. Let's go register. We don't have much time. Wait, what about you, Kachina? You're not really planning on competing solo, are you? We really wish we could help, but we're not from here, so it doesn't seem like we can take part. There's no threshold to the number of participants. With the sheer number of teams, it's practically guaranteed chaos. No matter how strong or experienced the warrior, victory is never assured. In a situation like that, it's always better to have someone to watch your back. Oh, how about this? When we register, why don't we ask if these two can have special permission to participate? Odds are the answer will be no, so if that doesn't work, well... I only have a few teammates this time. If someone else could take them, then... You're not asking me to lead your team, are you? <laughs> Look at you, mind reader. So, what do you say? With how strong you are, it would practically be an upgrade for my teammates. Fine by me, but doesn't that leave you and Kachina as a team of two? <laughs> There's a world of difference between that and flying solo. Besides, we're a formidable duo. I bet our new friends here will agree that two is always better than one, right? Oh, you mean us? Hmm, things are definitely less lonely with Paimon around. <laughs> You're right! Two is definitely better than one! It's just like the old saying we have here in Natlan. No one fights alone. But what if I drag you down? Listen to yourself. You'd be hard-pressed to find someone in Natlan who can beat us when we're together. <laughs> Hearing you say that does make me feel a little more confident. <sighs> Still, teams rarely contain more than one ancient name bearer. People are definitely gonna think of us as cowards. The rules don't forbid it, so who cares what they think? It's not like they left us any other option. Well, I'll leave you to break the news to your soon-to-be former teammates. I'm not good at stuff like that. I knew oh, it! I, I knew it! No! They deserve to hear it from me anyway. Oh, just give me a second, you guys. We can go sign up together once I'm done. Yeah, sure! Yeah. Like for another episode. Oh, but well, I'm gonna there. Like, subscribe. I'll see you later. Sayonara.